to praise him like you never praised him before. I need somebody to praise him. Amen. Because he's worthy to be praised. Come on, come on. Don't you feel it? Mm, I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Everything's gonna be all right, be all right, be all right, be all right. Do you believe it? Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Oh, I got a feeling everything. in heaven we thank you for this day we thank you for the sun that's shining we thank you for food on our tables clothes on our backs father we thank you for covering from one point to the other point we thank you oh god that you brought us uh, to this place once more and again to give you honor to give you glory and to give you praise now god we pray that you'll allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. It is in Jesus' magnificent name we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Give him one more hand of praise. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Give an honor to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank God for another opportunity to come before his children, amen, to proclaim his word, amen, and we certainly know that he can do anything but fail. Amen. Uh, thank you, thank you, De Deacon Dawson, for uh, that rendition that you have given to us this morning, amen, amen to help us usher in uh, the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. How many of you know that time is filled with swift transition? Huh? Uh, from last week to today, amen, a lot have happened. Amen. Amen. Most of you uh, was uh, uh, informed that Sister Gamma lost her uh, mother on Saturday morning. Amen. And we're praying mightily for uh, the family. Uh, the, the arrangements have not been set as yet, but we know God can do anything but fail, Amen. and he is a comforter. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just received word that Mother Moore has been taken to the emergency room as well. Amen. So pray mightily in her stead. Amen. Again, praying for Lady Terrell. We know that God is going to heal her as well. Amen. 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 I don't know about you, but I'm excited to what God is going to do as we pray for those who are on our prayer list and as we pray for those who have asked for prayer. Amen. I know he can do it. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know he can do it. He's done it before. He can do it again. All right. So do I have a witness? Amen. Amen. It's so good to see each and every one of you this morning. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. And we indulge, we pray for your indulgence as we go into the word of God. I invite your attention to the gospel according to Luke. Luke chapter 18. 
Luke chapter 18. I want you to drop in there at uh, 31st, no, 34th verse of Luke chapter 18, Luke 34. Luke 35, we started Luke 35, amen. Chapter 13. Mm -hmm. Chapter 18, Luke. 18. Chapter 18, 35. verse 35, uh -huh. amen. 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 You got it? Say amen. Rest to your feet. Yeah, you read the word of God. I'll be reading from the New uh, International Version as you follow along in whatever version you hold. Amen. 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 It is good to see. Uh, Sister Dawson House, God bless you, God bless you, amen, God is a keeper, God is a healer, amen, uh, Luke 35, Luke 18 verse 35, it says and reads thusly, as Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, when he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening, they told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He, he called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Uh, those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet. Uh, but he shouted all the more, all right. son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? My, my. <laughs> Lord, I want to see, he replied. And Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. All right. Immediately. Somebody say immediately. Immediately. He received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. All right. When all the people saw it, they Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Word of God for the people of God. You may be seated in the presence of God. For the few minutes that we have together, amen, I want to dwell on the subject. Uh, blockers, interrupters, and contagious praise. Blockers, interrupters, and contagious praise. I hope you know by now. That there are five basic human senses. Touch, sight, hearing, smell, and taste. The sensing organs, amen, that is associated with these, they send information to the brain to help us understand and perceive the world around us. It is said, and have been proven uh, that when one of our senses are lost, uh, that the other senses are strengthened to somehow compensate for the ones that are lost. Do I have a witness? Uh, they may be lost or they may not be functioning properly, but there is a function within our bodies that says, one is gone, let the others be strengthened. Amen? Sounds something like a church, don't it? <laughs> amen, amen, amen. There are folks uh, walking around and they're functioning perfectly without all of the use of their senses. And may I be a little transparent here? Amen. They are functioning better in life than those who have all their senses. Y'all going to pray with me? Amen. 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 Scientists have, tell, have told us that there are other secondary senses that goes into play with the primary senses in order for us to be able to move and operate in the world in which we live. In other words, my brothers and sisters, there there are perception blockers and perception interrupters that can hinder the use of proper functioning of our senses. Let me say that again. There's uh, perception blockers, 
perception interrupters that will hinder the use of our senses. Uh, for instance, there are times when uh, things on the external and then sometimes on the internal block our ability to properly hear what we need to hear. Right. Block our ability to hear what we need to hear, smell what we need to smell, taste what we need to taste, touch what we need to touch, and then see what we need to see. And I need you to understand that when those perception blockers and interrupters happen, there is an innate ability and a desire that God has planted within his creation, that's us, touch yourself, touch yourself, amen, that attempts to negate the shortage of our senses that we're missing in order for us to get around those blockers and around those interrupters to feel, to fulfill the job, amen, that we need to fulfill in this life. What you talking about, preacher? A amen. I'm talking about blockers and interrupters. <laughs> and if you've been living any, any length of time, you ought to know that life will bring you some blockers. Life will bring you some interrupters. But I'm here to tell somebody this morning, amen, that we can get around the blockers. We can get around the interrupters. Especially if we're true children of God. Do I have a witness? The scripture for our consideration today, there is a meeting between Jesus and uh, 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 Bartimaeus and we know Bartimaeus is blind and based on what I just explained about the senses we look at this happenstance and blind Bartimaeus teaches us some lessons about how to deal with our perception blockers and our, our perception interrupters Amen. But he also teaches us what should be the results. Somebody say results. Results. Uh-huh. After overcoming, amen, the victory over blockers and interrupters. Allow me, if you will, to paint this picture. Allow me, if you will, to unpack the scripture for us. We see Jesus. He's coming into the village of Jericho. And there is a crowd of folk with him and around him. Now that shouldn't be any, any, any surprise to us because at this percent, at, at this specific time in his ministry, Jesus drew crowds. Oftentimes we hear the Bible say that Jesus draws multitudes. Do I have a witness? Amen. His popularity now is, is, is so increased that everywhere Jesus goes, his little small entourage of 12 to 15 folk has now enlarged. That as they enter certain villages in the region, they fill the street simply because Jesus is in the midst. And I don't know about you, but I would rather be anywhere, amen, where Jesus is. Amen. And it really doesn't matter to me about the crowds. He's not uh, about quality. He's not about quantity. He's about quality. It doesn't really matter to me about the crowds. He already said where two or three are gathered, touching and agreeing, huh? that he will be in the midst. Uh, do I have a witness? Amen. Let me sidetrack here. We're doing our uh, pandemic. Amen. I would come and record the sermon uh, to be sent out over the wires the next day. Amen. And, and, and I've come, I come and with the media, media ministry and uh, Deacon McCoy and the pews would be empty. Y'all ain't got it. Don't need a crowd. Don't need the multitude. 
the bench you're sitting on may be a saved more than you. Come on, preacher. Why? Because, because your pastor poured out the spirit uh -huh. on these benches, uh -huh. and there was not a butt on the benches. Come on, <laughs> but but the spirit of the Lord was in this place. To the point where I know there is, a, there is there may be a couple of benches that will probably jump up and start shouting. All right, yeah. Where two or three are gathered. And every now and then, amen, every now and then somebody sneak in the back door. Huh? And come and sit in the back. Because they want a little bit of what I'm getting. Huh? Well, two or three. Are gathered, uh -huh. and I'm glad about the fact, Amen. That 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 Luke and other gospel writers tell us that at this time there is a lot of folk following Jesus. Uh -huh. But our focus today is on blind Bartimaeus. All right. uh, do I have a witness? Yes, amen, Amen. You, you need to understand that when we look at blind Bartimaeus, we see Bartimaeus doing some things. Uh, that let us know that uh, even the blockers can be seen in the multitude. The Come on. Amen. In the multitude. <laughs> Why? Because there are folk climbing on top of each other uh -huh. trying to get to Jesus. All right. Now Jesus brings the multitude with him. And you might say that because the multitude is with Jesus, that Jesus is a blocker. Oh, y'all ain't got it. Y'all ain't, ain't got it. Uh, but for the critics in the house, right. I need you to understand, if Jesus ever calls a problem, uh -huh. he is always able to solve any problem. Right. Do I have a witness? <laughs> As a matter of fact, Jesus was and is a, not the ultimate problem solver. Uh, folk would bring their problems to him and he would solve them. <laughs> Do I have a witness? So then the next thing we see in this narrative is, amen, that according to verse 35b, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. Oh my God. Mark's gospel calls him Bartimaeus, we, we, we got an identity now. Not only Bartimaeus, but he's blind Bartimaeus. Right. And it is here that we learn a few things about what's going on when we consider the loss of sight uh, that blind Bartimaeus is experiencing here. There is the crowd, a blocker. There is uh, his sight gone, a blocker. Do I have a witness? Look at him. Look at him. Physically, he lost the ability to see. Socially, he is uh, relegated to the place of outcast in society. Why? Because he is a beggar. And if you know anything about uh, biblical history, you know during the time of Jesus, the beggars would often be found at the city gates where people would be passing by in and out, and beggars would be begging for alms, begging for money, begging for a little this and a little that. In other words, beggars want somebody to help a brother out. Do I have a witness? I, I told you earlier, I told you earlier that those who lost their sight, amen, have their senses, have the ability to strengthen other senses. But it takes a special uh, acuity for Bartimaeus to realize that there are the number of people on the road that day that he came into the city. The people were so much that he was unable to go where he needed to go. He was unable to do what he needed to do. The crowd was much larger than he had seen before. Why? Because there's a stranger in town. <laughs> y 
y'all going to get it in a minute. <laughs> Amen. And because there's a stranger in town, when the crowd approaches where blind Bartimaeus is, he finds himself in competition with their noise. And the Bible tells us because he's in competition with their noise, amen, he has to yell louder than he had been doing before. The crowd is pressing in on him and folk are being joyous about being next to and getting to Jesus. And blind Bartimaeus, with his agenda being interrupted, realizes that this is not a usual day. So he may, he may be blind, but he can talk. He may be blind, but he can hear. And with those, with those acute uh, abilities, he realizes, I need to do something. And when he realizes that he needs to do something, the thing that he does is he cries out to anybody who can hear him, what in the world is going on? <laughs> he ain't getting no pennies in his pocket. huh? He ain't getting a, a quarter drop in his bucket. There's nothing, there's nothing tingling in uh, his can. And he want to know what's going on. Because he wants to know what's going on. Somebody told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Now that, 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 that statement by that onlooker, by that multitude, by that member of the multitude, that member of the crowd, Jesus is passing by. Amen. It says, that you're not in arm's length. You, you're, not that, you're not like that woman, amen, who touched the hem of his garment. You, you at a distance. Uh -huh. Amen. I need, a, I need some help in here. Uh, give me one, give me two, and I'll be three, amen, to let us know that when Jesus passed by at a distance, we got to take matters <laughs> into our own hands. Amen. Do I have a witness? I don't know about you, but there are times when I didn't need a deacon, I didn't need a preacher, I didn't need a mother, a amen. I, I just needed time to myself to figure out what am I going to do <laughs> to get to Jesus. But then you know what I found out, y'all? I, I found out that I didn't need to get to Jesus, that oftentimes Jesus would get to me. That's good news. When Jesus sees your effort, and knows your sincerity, yeah. Jesus will make a way to get to you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if it's in the midnight hour. Yes, sir. Uh, you walk on the floor. A amen. The scriptures say weeping may endure for a night, but joy yeah. comes in the morning. Yes, sir. I, I need you to understand when Jesus say, I heard your cry, uh -huh. he'll make his way to see what's wrong with you. Yes, Do I have a witness? And I'm glad about the fact that when Jesus makes his way to see what's wrong with me, <laughs> I don't have to worry about my next move because I'm in good hands. I'm about to lose it up in here. I'm in good hands. Amen. I'm in good hands. Uh, Jesus of Nazareth passing by. In verse 38 and 39. We see the interruption, a amen, and we see the competition between uh, uh, Bartimaeus and the crowd. Uh -huh. uh, the louder they got, <laughs> y'all got it, yeah. the louder he got. Yes, sir. I'm going to throw this in just for free. When your problems get more than you can handle, uh -huh. uh, you just cry out the louder yeah, yeah. and see what happens. They're pushing in on him. Uh -huh. He's crying out, uh, Son of David, have mercy on me. On me. Uh -huh. they, they, they messing with him. They're blocking him. They're interrupting him. Uh -huh. don't, they, they, you just sit there. Uh, don't, don't, don't bother Jesus. Son of David, have mercy on me. me. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to get in that mood in your spirit. 
Amen. That no matter what's going on in your life, you may have some health issues. You may have some financial issues. I don't care what the issues are. Amen. All you got to do is cry out. <laughs> Son of David, have mercy on me. Uh, they're trying to shut him down. They're trying to sit him down. Uh, they're trying to hush him up. But the more, the more, the more that they did, the more he got, <laughs> he got, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah well, the, the, the more he began to shout out loud, uh -huh. amen, y'all leave me alone, I got an issue, you done told me that uh, the son of David, you done told me that Jesus of Nazareth is passing by, uh -huh. amen, I can't see him, but based on what I'm hearing from you, it's time for me to make a move. All right. But I told you oftentimes when we cry out to Jesus, uh, Jesus will come exactly where we are. Amen. And I need you to look at Bartimaeus, Bartimaeus uh, cry. Look at his, look, look, listen to what he's trying to say. Feel what's in uh, his shouting. Amen. This is, this is no helpless, feeble cry for help. It is loud. It's consistent, uh -huh. amen, and he keeps on shouting. He won't shut up, even <laughs> though the crowd continue to try to shut him down. Is there anybody here who have been asking and asking God to do something in your life and it hadn't come yet? The interrupters and the blockers are in your way, amen, but you got tears in your eyes, you got snot in your nose, and you just can't help yourself. Lord, have mercy on me. Huh? And when Jesus see what's going on in your life, he will turn your, his attention over to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I told you earlier that Jesus is not a problem maker, but that he is a problem solver. Uh -huh. He is a way maker. He is a miracle worker. All right, let's jump to 40 and 42, 41, 40, and 42 through 42 tells us Jesus stopped and ordered the man uh -huh. to be brought to him. Yeah. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Come on, Reverend. Have you ever been in a situation that when you're praying that you really don't know what to ask for? <laughs> That you really don't understand what's going on in your life. Uh -huh. Amen. And all you can tell the Lord is, Lord, I need your help. All right. I need you to understand that you're going to drop something in your spirit. That when you tell the Lord, I need your help, you best believe. He's on the way. You best understand. Yeah. Help. He's on the way. Help is on the way. Do I have a witness? And when he shouts. Son of David, have mercy on me. He gets the Lord's attention. And here again, the Lord did not come to him, but the Lord ordered him for him to be brought to him. To him. Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, every now and then, you need somebody to take you by the hand. Uh -huh. Amen. And lead you in the presence of the Lord. And I, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to throw this in there for free. Amen. You really don't have to do something, do, do things sometimes. When the Lord sees that you need somebody, when the Lord needs to see that you need something, good yes. God Almighty, yes, he will. Uh, that the Lord will, yes, Lord he have will. mercy, yes, he, he will. will make a way yes, out of yes, no way. Yes, do I have a witness? Oh, yeah. Amen. And he will order angels. He will order other folk to come see about you and help you to the place of your healing, help you to the place of your deliverance. Good God Almighty. But here it is. Uh, you may not have been praying for yourself, but I heard the, old church, the whole old church say, somebody prayed for me. Had me on the mind. Took the time <laughs> to pray for me. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. But the Lord had an intercessor. The Lord had somebody to step in. 
and bring your problems to him. The Lord had somebody to look on your situation and say, Lord, send a blessing his way. Lord, send a blessing her way. Do I have a witness? And when the Lord sees somebody in a session for you, I see in my spirit that the Lord will turn around to the host of angels and say, I want you, 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 and you. Go down and see about my child. I've heard their cry. Do I have a witness? Bottom is shouting out. The Lord says, who's that shouting out? They say, it's blind by the mess. He don't want nothing, Lord. <laughs> no, bring him here. <laughs> I got something for him. Yeah, Lord. And when you come in the presence of the Lord, uh-huh. after having been ordered to be, to be in his presence, I need you to understand that something is about to happen. Yeah, Lord. Good God Almighty, the best <laughs> is yeah, yet to come. come. Do I have a witness? Preach, huh? He brought... Bartimaeus to Jesus and Jesus said what do you want me to do for you here it is I'm going to throw this to to, 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 you too Uh, Jesus says what do you want me to do for you (laughs) put yourself in Bartimaeus place Uh what would you tell Jesus Lord Lord, here's what I want you to do (laughs) Go down the list. Bless this one. Bring this one home. Yeah. Help this one. Oh, Fix this one. Yeah. Heal this one. Yeah. Y'all ain't feeling it. <laughs> but bottom ass had only one request. Uh, he didn't need a car. He didn't need a house. He didn't need a job. No, no. He didn't need respect. Oh. He didn't need somebody to help him out. He didn't need somebody to be uh, what they call a home care nurse. <laughs> he didn't need all of that. Amen. He didn't even need a seeing eye dog. But all blind bottom man say, Lord, I want my sight. Lord, I want to see again. <laughs> Good God Almighty. We don't know how long he been blind. We don't know when he became blind. Yeah. Amen. We don't know what had happened since he'd been blind. Mm-hmm. But I need to let you know this. He does. <laughs> he yeah. knows from whence he's come. Yeah. He knows the mountains that he had to climb. He knows the doctors that he had to go to. Amen. And all he wants from Jesus <laughs> is his sight. <laughs> Do I have a witness? Come on, preach, he's baby. been blocked. He's been interrupted, and all he wants is his sight. I don't know at what point he came to this conclusion, but I'm glad about the fact that he said, all I want is my sight. Uh And when Jesus sees your faith, when Jesus sees his faith, and when Jesus knows that you're serious about what you need, Jesus saw where he was serious about what he needed. And Jesus realized it ain't about his money. Uh It ain't about his name. It ain't about his family. It ain't about his friends. It ain't about his blockers. It ain't about, 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 about his interceptors. Amen. What is it about? It's about his faith. All right. What is that? What is that? The substance of things hoped for and the evidence. (laughs) Help me in here. (laughs) Lord, have mercy. Jesus said to him, you are right. (laughs) Here it is. Receive. (laughs) Can I be a little prophetic in here this morning? Receive. You ain't got to tell me what you need of. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm letting you know. Receive. If you have faith. Yes, sir. Receive. Uh-huh. If you believe, receive. Uh-huh. Ah, glory to God. 
Receive your healing. <laughs> receive your whatever you need. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I want my sight. Come on. Receive it. Why? Because your faith has made <laughs> has made thee whole. Your faith has healed you. All right. Uh, this is what I like now. Amen. Oftentimes we try to get to the conclusion before we need to get to the conclusion. Uh, but the conclusion is, is that when Jesus sees your faith, uh -huh. when Jesus gives you your healing, <laughs> I heard somebody say, uh, don't wait till the battle's over. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Shout now. <laughs> don't wait until your healing comes. Shout now. Shout now. <laughs> don't wait until the bank gets full, the bank account is full. Shout now. Don't wait until the cupboards run over. Shout now. Here's what I like, and I'm going to let you go home. Huh? When Jesus, when Jesus says, your faith hath made you whole, your faith hath healed you. Notice what blind Bartimaeus says, and notice what he does. He was healed, and his desire to follow Jesus, the healer, was allowed for him to go. Now, why is that important? Because you, if you know the Bible, you know that folk who was healed by Jesus, Jesus sometime and oftentimes did not allow them to go tell anybody about their healing. All right. He didn't allow them to follow him after their healing. All right. Uh, but Bartimaeus got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Bartimaeus got it, got it, got it. He got his healing, yeah. and he desired to follow Jesus, and nobody stopped him. Jesus didn't even stop him. <laughs> Amen. I'm here to tell you, if you see me in the streets, <laughs> And I'm praising the Lord. Don't stop me because I got it. Good God Almighty, don't stop me because I've been washed in the blood. Don't stop me because I am what I am in Jesus. He was healed. He followed. He decided to follow Jesus. And there were some folk who really didn't want him to go with Jesus, but he had something to thank God for. For. Right. And when he thanked God for it, look what he did. He's a, he was allowed to follow Jesus. <laughs> he became a disciple. He became a follower. That's one thing, All good right. God Almighty. But I'm here to tell you that the very last thing he did, oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, matter, no matter of the blockers, no matter of the interrupters, no matter of the haters, amen, he's healed. He's allowed to follow Jesus. <laughs> But here it is. He's following him in a brand new way. Right. The scriptures say that he's following Jesus and he's praising him all the way through. Right. Now, here's the contagious part. I told you, block us, interrupt us, and contagious praise. <laughs> yeah. He done got through the blockers. He done got through the interrupters. Now he's about to get, get how do you say it, get contagious. <laughs> and anybody around him, we done come up out of pandemic. And you know that every now and then, I mean, you ain't got your mask on. If you're not sanitized, you might catch something. <laughs> say amen, somebody. But I'm glad about the fact when it comes to blind Bartimaeus and when it comes to praising the Lord for your blessings, amen, your praise <laughs> can be contagious. Your praise can be contagious. You still ain't got it. Your praise can be contagious. Say yes. Say yes. Look here, look here, look at there is there there is a break between this pew and this pew. Uh, but if praise can be contagious, if praise start up here, something happens. In here, gets back to here, jumps over here, goes up here, 
church goes up here, jumps over there. What you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about contagious praise. I'm praising the Lord based on what he's done for me. I'm praising the Lord based on how he's been good to me. Amen. You don't have to know my story to understand and see my glory. Just catch what I got and start praising the Lord. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noonday. Praise him when the sun go down. Praise ye the Lord. Your faith have made thee whole. Your faith have healed your body. Your faith has given you sight. Your faith have opened doors. Your faith have raised you up. Praise the Lord. Get contagious. Catch what I got. Catch what I got. Catch what I got. Catch what I got. Know that the Lord will answer prayer. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Touch your neighbor. Make your neighbor sick with praise. Touch your neighbor. Make it go from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Touch your neighbor. Good God Almighty. McCoy, touch. touch who that? Touch Kaya. Make Kaya get up. Harris, touch Bell. Make Bell get up. Somebody get up on your feet and praise ye. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm through. Give the Lord a hand of praise. I'm through. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's stand all over the sanctuary. God is good. And he's greatly to be praised. Amen. I'm going to tell you this in a moment. Let you go. I remember when I was uh, small in the church. Well, I, I guess about preteen age. And the church was on fire. And I couldn't understand why folk was praising the Lord like they were doing. Amen, somebody. Uh, but then I saw, I, I, I saw the pastor. Pastor Cole, Pastor Raymond Coles, Long Island, New York, reach his hand out and touched, touched, touch, huh? And looked like that touch caught on fire. And the person he touched, touched somebody else. And that person got on fire. And it was years, <laughs> years done that I read the scripture where the prophets say it was like fire shut up in my bones. But I knew exactly what he was saying. He was saying what's on the inside of the Holy Spirit Amen. Got in bones, and somewhere, somehow, it has to come out. Yeah. Amen. You got to get sick with praise. Not after you heal. Not, not before you set free. Not before you delivered. Ah, but before it's done. Praise the Lord now while you have a chance. Because you may not have that chance anymore. Do I have a witness? I'm 60-something years old. And now when I get bad news, when I get disturbing news, <laughs> I know how to start getting, getting, getting close to God and just praising the Lord for what I know is going to happen in the end. 
<laughs> Amen. I don't have to worry about doctors. I don't have to worry about what's going to happen. I know that with I praise God now in the midst of the storm that things will change. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. The doors of the church are open. Uh, this is your opportunity to come, not just join the church, but your, to join the Lord. Uh, become and be part of, amen, that band of people, that band of believers, that band of worshipers uh, that love the Lord with all their hearts, with all their minds. Amen. And he will take away your pain. He will give you your sight. He will restore unto you. Thank you, Jesus. All the things Thank that you, Lord. He brought me through. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My stormy days. Yes, Lord. And my rainy days. Yes, Lord. That's it. That's it. You don't know, you don't know. all the tears I've cried. Yes, Lord. The things I've kept bottled up inside. Trying my best to be strong Waiting on God and holding on You don't know what I had to endure And you wonder why I'm so sure Think of the goodness of Jesus oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and all he's done for me. Yeah. My soul cries out hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, Thank you didn't you. have to say me, but you did. Yes, Lord. Because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was so sick. Yes. But you saw fit to see me through. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you, God. Thank you. Thank yes. You. And while I'm thanking people, yes, I want to thank the church oh, yeah. for the prayers and all that they've done, their offerings for uh, coming to help. And I just ask for you to have, uh, pray my strength in the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout, it shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. hospital with her. She was embarrassed. Trying to eat and couldn't eat. She looked up at me and I said, you want me to help you? If you don't mind. <laughs> but how many of you know the Lord was in the room? Oh, yes. The Lord was in the room. And we thank God from whence he, she's come. She's come a mighty mighty long way. Thank you, Lord. The Lord was not ready to call you home <laughs> because he had more work for you to do in this vineyard. And we thank God for it. We praise God for it. We worship God for it because we know what God can do. He can do anything <laughs> but fail. And we thank him for it. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we anoint this your vessel 
In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Do your work. <laughs> do what you do. Yes, Lord. Strengthen her body. Yes, Lord. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Yes. Lord, we know you can and we know you will. Have thine own way in her life. Strengthen her body. Back to 100%. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you, Lord. For anointing the doctors, for anointing the nurses, for anointing the medicine, to bring her back to this point. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we worship you, we praise you, O oh God, for what you've done in her life. Continue to do it, Lord. Continue to do it, Lord. She is a disciple. She is a follower. She is a witness. She knows what you can do. She will tell others, come see what the Lord has done in the name of Jesus. He will and he can do anything but fail. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Bless, oh God, Brother Doss right now. As he stands beside her, minister her back into health. Take care of her, the Heavenly Father, and nurture her. Nurture her. Bless him, oh God that he might be able to do those things that's needed and assigned to his hands to take care of his helpmate in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know you can and we know you will. Open doors that may have been closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, put enemies over under his footstep in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray now in the name of Jesus that you restore uh, that you, the Heavenly Father, will deliver. That you, the Heavenly Father, will take care of them in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you. Thank you Lord. We thank you, thank you Lord. that we're here to see <laughs> oh, yeah. that, you're, that you're a healer, that you're a way maker, oh, yeah. that you're a miracle worker. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And amen. Uh, shout if you want. Uh, hallelujah. 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 He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ahead and praise him. Amen. Amen. Let us continue in our worship through our giving. Amen. Let us lift up our offerings before the Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory for you are mighty, mighty good God. And we thank you, Father God, for blessing us the way that you did. And now, Lord, we just want to give back a portion of that which you have blessed us with. We ask, Father God, that you use it for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Increase it for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
People of God, we want to take this time also to welcome our visitors who are in the sanctuary and those who may be in the virtue space. We're going to ask if, the, if you're uh, visiting with us for the first time, would you please stand? We just want to acknowledge your presence being with us. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Would you please let us know who you are? Amen. Amen. Amen, Jessica. We will be praying for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We want to thank each of you for being. As uh, Sister Jessica is coming down for prayer, we want to thank each of you for visiting with us on today. And we pray that you were blessed through our worship experience on today. And on behalf of our pastor and overseer, Reverend Raymond Terrell, his lovely wife, Lady Barbara Terrell, in her absence, and the entire Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church, we thank God for your presence being with us. We pray God's blessings upon you all. And we ask that any time that you're back this way, please come and fellowship and worship with us. For we are the church that sits on the hill. We're hoping Christ never dies. never dies. May God bless each and every one of you. At this time, let us go into prayer. Sister Jessica, is that a trinket, a picture of your late husband? Yes. Handsome man. Amen. Handsome man. We want to pray your strength in the Lord. Anytime there's a loss in the family, especially in uh, the marital unit, it's a great loss. And we know that you're going through and going through still that loss and feeling it every day that you have to succumb to grief. But let me tell you, continue to grieve because it's part of the healing process. Your love for your late husband will never dwindle. He's been in your life. He sustained you. He supported you. How long were you married? Seven years. That's the number of completion. It may have been the number of completion for his life here on earth and the union between you and he, but God put him in a place to where now he will live forevermore. <laughs> and I know that he's looking down now, smiling, <laughs> thanking God for you continually. Lift him up even in his transitioning, amen, and to know that that's your husband. You know, people say late. <laughs> and maybe that's that's a good thing. Amen. But I like to say oftentimes, he never was late, but on time. Hallelujah. Amen. He was on time for you. For seven years, you shared a life with him. Amen. And we just thank God that now he's resting with the angels. And he's far better there than he is here. And I guarantee you that if you ask him 
would he want to come back? The answer would be no. Not that he didn't love you, but the fact that he no longer have to, he no have to travail in this life. And we thank God. Amen. Amen. That you honored him today and you continue to honor him in your love. Let's pray. Most holy, eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this dear daughter who've come to Heavenly Father to share with us uh, the transitioning and the missing of her late husband. God, in the name of Jesus, we know that you have him, but now we are praying for her strength. Lord, as she marches on in life and as she continues to do those things that you've assigned her hands to do, God, there's going to be times when she's going to look around and say, I wish he was here. There's going to be times when he, she's laying down late at night, Father, and, and feel a cold side of the bed and say, I wish he was here. There's going to be times that there's things going to need to be done around the house, Father, that she knew that he took care of. She's going to say, I wish he was here. So, God, now we pray in the name of Jesus that you give her a double portion of strength. Yes, God. Yes, God. Help her, the Heavenly Father, to straighten up and uh, lean on you. Father, let her slip her hands into your hands and know that you have her right where you need her. Let her feel, the Heavenly Father, uh, the blood that comes from your hands, uh, from the holes of the nails into her hands. Strengthen her, the Heavenly Father, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Give her what she stands in the need of. So society say that now she's a half a person, but the devil is a liar. She's a whole person in the name of Jesus. Jesus, come and make her whole again in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, for the glow that we see in her. Thank you, the Heavenly Father, for the faith that we hear, that we hear and see in her. Thank you, O oh God, that she loves you and she calls you Savior. Thank you, O oh God. Now, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that when she opens her mouth, that it would be that it would be that of praise and worship for how far you've brought her in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your words say that you will restore everything that the locusts and the canker worms has taken away. Father, in the name of Jesus, strengthen her now. Let it be done. And we count it all done and Lord we ask in the name of Jesus uh, that we as a body of believers uh, will surround her in love keep her in our prayers and know that everything is going to be alright in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare it done in Jesus name amen and amen give God some praise y'all Amen, amen, and amen. Uh, this, let's see. Okay, yeah, we can go. All right. We have some presentations that we want to present. Amen. Uh, all right. Of course, you know this year we had two uh, special graduates to be among us. Amen. Amen. And we would like for Brother Stefan, Isaiah, Kaya, and Sanaya, Imani, Kaya, to come down. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We've seen them come from a mighty long way. Amen. We, have, we are delighted that God had, amen, allowed us to see them grow. 
into the young woman and the young man that they are today. Amen. God can do anything but fail. There was prayers put on these two and others. And look at them now. Hallelujah. So it gives me great pleasure to present to Brother Isaiah Certificate of Excellence in that it certifies uh, that he, amen, did uh, for, his excellent, for his academic excellence as a 2023 high school graduate of West Creek High School, Clarksville, Tennessee. Let God grant what is in your heart and fulfill all your plans. Amen. Given this 25th day of June, 2023. God bless you, man. Proud of you. All right. Hallelujah. This is a certificate of award. It's to certify that Sanaya, amen, Kaya is awarded the Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church, Lizzie B. Johnson Dunk, Duncan Education for, Fund uh, for ac academ academic excellence upon the graduation from West Creek High School and upon her acceptance to Middle Tennessee State University. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Given this 25th day of June, God bless you. Amen. We love you. I'm so proud of you. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. Give it up. Give it up for the Kayas. Give it up for the Kayas. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are so proud of them and wish them not just good luck, but blessed luck. Amen. As they move forward. We are so proud of all of our graduates who have come this way, amen, and have excelled in what they have done. Amen? All right. One more thing. Well, two more things. Uh, of course, we know we are asking for uh, school supplies for uh, the next year, and I think it's next month that we're going to collect them, amen, and box them up or whatever, bag them up and pass them out. Uh, I have a list here uh, that we're going to print out and make sure that we all understand or know what, what to bring uh, we'll have a list, and we're going to uh, pass that out on next week. Amen? Amen. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> All right. I, I want to also uh, announce, if I may, amen, uh, that we will be having uh, the exchange of wedding vows on July 1st here at the church between Brother Ted and Sister Tanisha Johnson. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We are excited about the fact, and we know uh, that Sister Johnson, Mrs. Ruth Johnson, is smiling, and, and I, I can hear her saying, have mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, so we are excited and honored to put them well, they, they, they're already together. They're just going to do the ceremony. Amen. But we are glad that they have asked us to be able to be uh, a participant thereof. June, July 1st at 3 o'clock. All right. Please, ma'am, please, sir, be present to wish them all the best, blessed luck. Amen. 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 Give them a hand. <laughs> all right. Amen. If all hearts and minds are satisfied, amen. We thank and continue to pray for those who are on our list. We thank God for the rest of our visitors who've come. Amen. Mother, God bless you, and we pray that you do find your way back to the house of hope. We're hoping Christ, what? Yeah. Never dies. God bless you. Amen. Let us stand. God bless you. God bless you. Mother Emeritus Johnson, it's good to see you this morning. Amen. We're glad to see you. Amen. 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 Amen, Mother Cook. Amen. It's always a blessing to see you. Amen. We thank God for it. That's the richness, the richness of what God will and can do. Amen. Brother, we're praying for your safe travel. Amen. We thank God for you coming and seeking out this church. Amen. And we know that God is going to give you safe travel 
A amen. Traveling grace and arriving mercy. And that whatever he's assigned your hands to do, that it shall be done and get, get the glory from the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much for the visitation of the Holy Spirit. We thank you so very much for these who've gathered here in the sanctuaries, those of our visitors who come near and far here in the, in, here in the sanctuary and in the virtual world. God, we ask now in the name of Jesus that you would keep us all in the hollow of your hand. Prop us on every leaning side. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, to know, for us to know that when you healed us, based on our faith, dear Lord, that we have to praise you even louder, no matter what blocks our way, no matter what interrupts our praise, no matter what fall in our way, we have to give you praise in spite of, anyhow, and we say thank you. Now, God, we pray that you keep us both our going out and our coming in. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Strengthen us, dear Heavenly Father, with the Holy Spirit. Now, we pray that the love of God, the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, let it rest, rule, and abide henceforth and forever. It is in Jesus' magnificent name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. and amen. God bless you.